Let's first have a quick look at how optimization problems are typically solved in general. Imagine we want to maximize a certain output value y, which could be the lift of an airfoil, by changing the input variable x, which could be the angle of attack of that same airfoil. The relationship between x and y can be expressed through a mathematical function which we can call our objective function. To find the maximum lift value, we can start by picking a random value for the angle of attack on the x-axis and calculate the corresponding lift value on the y-axis. We can then pick a second point close to it and do the same thing. With these two data points known, we can now calculate the local gradient, which indicates the direction in which we need to march to improve or increase the objective function, which is lift in this case. If you take enough of these steps, you will actually end up at the peak. Of course, if the step size is too big, you can overshoot and miss the peak. Or you can get stuck on a local peak instead of a bigger peak which is located further away. Nevertheless, this is the basic method that is used for gradient-based optimization methods.